Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Shamika Jackson of UpscaleLaceWigs.com and today I want to do a really quick video on our suction cap wigs. I was actually going through some items and I was cleaning out some things and I came across a few wigs. Of course, as a business owner, I tend to sell the wigs. Sometimes I keep them to have them as, um, as samples if I had a one-on-one -on -one consultation with the client so they have an idea of what um, the cap feels like and looks like versus um, not seeing anything at all. So most of the time when you're doing a thin skin unit or you know suction cap, full silk cap, whatever type of cap styles that we have, majority of our ways are customized. The majority of our business is customized hair units because we do a one-on-one -on -one consultation. We get an idea of exactly what type of unit you're looking for and then we make the unit. So unfortunately from that we don't keep tons of stock unless it's a stock unit. Oftentimes, um, if there is a customized unit and something happens for whatever reason, um, I'll keep it. And a lot of times if I do keep it, I'll sell it and it normally sells kind of quickly because it's something that most people want and they want it quick, especially thin skin wigs. So ultimately, as I was cleaning through it, nevertheless, um, I came across a couple of wigs that I wanted to show you guys a real quick video on um, what it looks like on. So this is the suction cap wig that I have. This is old. Um, I honestly don't remember why I have it, but it is the suction cap wig. It's a client. I, I have to it has a client's name on here. Nevertheless, um, I never ask any of my hair loss clients to come onto a YouTube video to express um, what type of wear they have, um, you know, how, they're, how they experience wearing the wigs. I mean, I just, I just don't do that and I just wouldn't want anybody to ask me if I'm already dealing with something like hair loss. So I try to explain it as best as I can and show you guys on YouTube as much as I can. And ultimately, if you are not close by and you can't do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with uh, myself, then you kind of just going off my word, which is it's cool that you're, you know, you're able to trust me in regards to making a unit that will best suit your needs. So I wanted to go do a really quick video and show you guys what this looks like on. Now I do not have complete hair loss. Our suction cap wigs are only made for people who have complete hair loss and no hair. Um, so ultimately it works with your body chemistry in order for it to stay attached to your head. Now, I do have some hair loss. My hair loss is up here. I know you guys saw one of the one videos, which is maybe not you guys, but if you did, you have an understanding of how or how I came into this business, why, and um, the type of hair loss that I do have. I've expressed it in that video, trying to encourage others how to find out exactly what is going on with their hair. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick break, put this one, take this one off. This is from our Cafune collection. Um, this is raw virgin hair. I just colored the top a little bit. Um, this is the bounce curl that's on our website. And this is nothing but a closure wig. This is only two bundles and a four by four closure, surprisingly. And I'm gonna put this wig on and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on. Not really to be on, because this one doesn't fit me at all. I'm, I'm like a large cat, if, well, medium slash large. Um, large if I have my hair grown in. Um, but this is a very small cap, but what I'm going to show you is how um, it holds even the small portion of this cap base. So this particular cap base, I'm gonna turn it inside out so you guys can see it. Like I said, this is this cap is like old, old. Like it's probably been sitting like at least seven years somewhere in um, a drawer. All right, so this has some sort of lace right here. In this area the black that you see I dyed this wig I dyed it black in the nape and I pretty much dyed it similar to what I have right here which is a brown and I, I color the top you know I like the same thing over and over even if even it was seven years ago and then it has a um, five by it's pretty big it's probably six by six or five by six um, silk top so the silicone portion that I'm going to show you is actually only one inch of the front hairline and the rest is the silk top which that does not have a suction cap fill but because you're dealing with the rest of the cap which is the um, 
the material that helps it bond to your head. Um, that makes the whole wig within itself hold tight. And then the lace right here, that does not act, act as a suction cap. That's more of a ventilation. So you have a little bit air flowing through and you feel a little bit more comfortable. You're not hot or anything like that. But I'm going to show you just with this small material right here of the suction cap, how it actually holds and in regards to someone pulling it off. So I'll be right back because I'm not going to put this wig on in front of y'all in this video. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back to put the wig on. Um, don't look at the hair, y'all, because this is not the purpose of the wig. This not has not been styled. Um, and it's short, well, short for me. But anyways, um, my particular hair loss um, for me is the front five inches, left to right, and then the back probably about seven, eight inches. So this wig literally doesn't fit. Like, I have my hair underneath here fold it through and then right underneath here I ain't gonna show y'all all my grays um underneath here so this is my hair so I have hair throughout all this area and then I have um sparse hair up here and then some thinning right here so this cap is now attached to only my forehead and remember when I showed you the video um earlier that the the suction cap portion of the wig was only about an inch wide and then it had the silk top my purpose for showing you this part of the video so you can actually get a feel for what it looks like or in regards to how it holds um, and how it attached to your head. Now I'm cooling on it. Right? The cap's not going anywhere. It doesn't move. I haven't done anything. I literally just went in the bathroom put this on and it's attached to just literally my front forehead because this area is nothing but a flap because I have hair. Now, if you had no hair, you would be able to get the same sort of feel, if not way better of a snug fit. And once again, this wig does not fit. Now, if you wanted to do like a hybrid of this and you had say hair loss in the front and you had hair back here and you just didn't want to let go of that hair, you just wanted to keep it for whatever reason, we can do a hybrid of that where the suction cap would be in the front area and then the rest would be um i would probably recommend either a stretch or just plain lace a swiss lace with adjustable straps and or combs depending on what you want um but if you're looking to do a glueless fit and just comfort and no adhesives or anything like that but you want that suction fit as this wig is doing right here then you would just do the the suction cap uh, material in the front we customize how far back you would want to do it and then the rest to be some sort of lace or monofilament or any other type of material that you would like to have so i want to do this quick video to give an idea of how secure this wig is with no adhesives no anything just completely our suction cap wigs and i don't even have complete hair loss and see how it's fitting on my head so take a look in regards to this and I, I believe i actually wore this for a time frame because i had it literally cut all my hair off and i was like let me see what this feels like and as i'm going through my stuff i'm like oh let me just do a quick video so you guys are able to see how snug and how um it doesn't move in regards to feeling comfortable when you're wearing your wigs so hope this video helps um if you have any other questions feel free to email us at growingupskillhair at yahoo.com or you can uh give us a call at 877-657-5547 or shoot us a comment down below so until next time and guys enjoy your day